Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate you being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for that very first time, welcome. And as a quick reminder, you know, that the purpose of our channel is we want to provide as much information as we possibly can uh, to as many people as we possibly can, absolutely free, you know, to help them grow their business, help them shorten their learning curve and, you know, improve bottom line profitability. And the best way for us to do that is when you subscribe, you know, is when you like the video. So if you've not yet done so, please do so, you know, uh, subscribe, you know, hit that like button uh, to help us reach more folks in the industry. And to learn more about me and learn more about my company and how we can uh, help take your business maybe to that next level, check out the links below. And a couple of the links that I would point you to are our email newsletter link, you know, sign up for it, it's absolutely free. And it's gonna be one more resource uh, to give you more information uh, on how you can grow and develop your business. And then number two, you can check the link below to our website, fmconsulting.net, where you can gain free access you know, to our gym management playbook. So go check it out. Look forward to seeing you over there. And with that said, you know, let's get into our topic today. And it's the five secrets to making larger gym sales. Five secrets to making larger gym sales. Now, you know, one of the things that I see, you know, kind of frequently, a lot of folks do, they might do some volume, but they're always getting the cheapest sale, the, the, the smallest sale there is, okay? And, you know, one of the ways you can improve your business, you can improve your income, provide more value to your customers, make larger sales, you know, have that big ask, so to speak. Okay, where you can get uh, you know more revenue you know per customer that's coming in, and this is one of the secrets. You know, you've got say you've got two clubs side by side, each club's making fifty sales. Okay, you know that's all this club is doing is those fifty. But this club over here, they've got you know personal training, they've got retail, they've got supplements, they've got other things they're selling. They're getting more revenue per customer. Okay, same number of folks, more successful, you know less successful. So. Five secrets to making larger gym sales. So I'm going to give you a few things to think about here. But number one, sell at the highest possible level. Sell at the highest possible level. Okay. You know, what's the, the best program, biggest program you have? Well, let's start there. That's what we want to try to sell. That's where, that's where I would start. And, you know, one of the keys here to this, and you can find this information on, on other videos here on the channel, but... One of the first things that has to happen on this kind of thing is, you know, we have to be sold ourselves. You know, can we solve our customer's problem? Do we have the best gym to solve their problem? Is now the best time to do it? We've got to be sold ourselves because if we have uncertainty, it's going to be impossible to sell at the highest possible level. So I want to suggest whatever your highest program is, hey, let's go for it. You know, let's go for it. Build the value. Let's go for it. Okay. Now, if your if your club is not set up that way, let's make sure that we are doing the second sale. So, for example, I've got the customer signed up, and I might say something like, "And you know, hey, it's great to have you. We're going to help you get in the best shape of your life. How would you like to get your results twice as fast?" Well, sure, I'd love to do that. And show them your 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 private training or your semi private, so you can get more money with a second sale, with a third sale, and things like that. But in a general sense, let's start at the highest level on this. Okay, let's don't start at the cheapest level. Okay, uh, number two, get in the habit of selling solutions, not products or services. What we want to do, we want to solve problems for folks. Okay, we want to provide solutions. Don't be selling them products or services because when value exceeds price, people will buy. You know, sell at the highest possible level, have that big ask, but bring that value way on up. Okay, i.e., solve their problem, provide solutions. That's how you do it. Don't don't fall into that trap of uh, the products and services and features and that. You know, all it does is invite comparison. It's going to push that price down. Okay, sell solutions. Uh, number three, focus on custom objectives and challenges. Okay, so you're talking to your customer. What are their objectives here? You know, why is this important? Yeah, I want to lose weight. Why is that important? Find out. Okay, yeah, I want to get in the best shape of my life. Fantastic. We can do that. Why is that important? How's that going to change your life? 
Okay, understand that objective. And what challenges have they had in trying to do this? What challenges have they had? So focus on overcoming those challenges. Focus on you know why this is important and what they want to do. That's where you're zeroing in. That's where that value is going to come up. Okay, and that's all, that's how you'll be able to get those larger sales. Number four, and I want to talk a bit about this, but get a budget. And here's what I mean. I'm not talking, ask them what their budget is. Okay, I mean, most folks are going to, you know, push that thing down. But you want to get a budget. But here's what I mean. Find out what have they been doing? What have they been doing to, to lose this weight? Or what have they been doing to get back into shape? Okay. I mean, some folks, they, they may have been spending $1,000 a month on, on a weight loss program. They may have had some subscription to something else that was costing them $300 a month. But find out what they've been doing to get the results they're looking for. You know, when's the last time, Mary, you spent $500 on yourself, you know, relative to losing that weight? Or when's the last time you spent $1,000 on yourself? You'll be surprised. We're not asking specifically what the budget is. What we're trying to find out is what has that past behavior been like? Because that past behavior is going to be indicative probably of future behavior. Okay? So you just find out, you know, what have they been doing? And, you know, they members of a tennis club, you know, oh, I tried playing golf. I didn't do it. You know, I, I joined some other place and it was, you know, $200 a month. And, okay, find out what they've been doing. It's not a money conversation. It's to find out what they've been doing. But you'll know, you know, what the money was. And then number five on my list of five secrets to making larger gym sales, provide no more than three options, pricing options. Okay, you know, what you don't want to do, don't go in there and here's our menu of prices. Here's everything that we have. Okay. You know, show, you know, two prices, no more than three. Okay. Make it simple. You know, show the two, you know, Mary, both these programs can get you the results you're looking for. Both these programs can get you in the best shape of the best shape of your life of the two, which one's going to suit your needs the best. Make it simple, make it easy, but don't, don't, if you give them too many options, you're going to create in many cases, I want to think about it. Objection. Okay, so five um, uh, five secrets to making larger gym sales. It's one of the things that you can do to increase your business immediately. No matter what your role is in the company, you can improve your business immediately with no more prospects and no more you know uh, appointments or anything that you have right now. But just create more value. Make sure you ask, and you'll find good chance about twenty percent of your customers are going to go ahead and take you up on that program. So, folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, our focus here is to reach as many people as we can and provide as much information as we can to help folks, you know, grow their business and take their business to that next level. We want to do it, you know, right here on the channel at no cost. And the best way for us to do that is when you choose to subscribe, when you hit that like button, it helps broaden our reach. So, again, if you've not yet done so, please subscribe. Please hit the like button and we look forward to seeing y'all in that next video.